Hello and welcome to my F124 driver career mate. Here today for round 10 and the final round of season 1 for the career mate. We round it off here in Brazil where we are here for our very first sprint weekend as well. So we go into qualifying now for the sprint race. We come up to the line, cross the line and it's okay, got a we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Start off P9, but we've got all the way down to the back, so it won't be the best of laps. It's now we cross it up to the line, we got to the line, we cross it, and it's only going to be good enough for P17. Off focus. the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Norris, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Russell, Albon, Stroll, Sonoda, Hamilton, Ricardo, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Ocon, Brown, Bottas, and Joe Guan Yu. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So here we go then for the sprint race, the first time in this career mode. We are racing here for the sprint, so we've got a big OK start. As we look to maybe go to the inside, we really send it to the inside into turn one, getting multiple positions there at the start as we try to go around the outside of the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. He shut the door big time on us there as now we head down towards turn four. We've gained a couple of places at the start as we're behind now. This is damage, damage debris. And off the curve, we come through turn four. Up in front is Alpha Tari of Yuki Sonoda as we try and look to the outside again. As we're going to go, send it laid down the inside, catch the RB mapping and take that position on the opening lap of the race. As now we are hunting down Lewis Hamilton. This is for P12, so from P18 we have had a good start. This is looking back now at Lewis Hamilton, looking at us. We're going to send the leg dive on down the inside to take that position away from Lewis Hamilton. We're now into P12, we've had a great start here in Brazil, but we've run a bit wide and that's going to allow Lewis to come straight back at us. He is one of the kings around this track, along with Senna. He keeps it pinned down the inside. We try and hold it around the outside, but Lewis keeps us behind. We were briefly, briefly in front, but it didn't last very long. And now we make an under threat from the RB behind us of Daniel Ricciardo, which we had him, not Sonoda. And then Lewis Hamilton started to pull away a bit, and we fell back into Daniel Ricciardo, who's going to do the switcheroo on us. Try and go to it. our inside, we hold it around the outside, we then have the inside line. We have a big, big moment now, coming off of that corner. And now look at the train behind us. We're going to be absolutely sitting duck as we head down towards turn four. We chop him off. Ricardo's had a big lock up there. Going into turn four, let's give us some breathing space. As, oh, that was a big lock up. Now behind us is Ocon and also the other Alpine. This is Gasly though, going for us and gets us down into turn one. We're going to keep it pinned though to the inside, forcing the long way round, but he accepts the challenge and goes round the outside of us and takes that place, does Gasly. And now we're battling Ocon behind, unless we can get Gasly back. But Gasly, I think, is too far up the road for us to have a go back at him, but we're going to go for it anyway to the inside. It's side by side. Gasly keeps it pinned round the outside. Who is going to give up? We're going to have to give up for once. We've gone wide though, and now the, the other Alpine of Ocon is going to go to the inside of us. It's now a very annoying camera angle. Ocon is on our outside. We're trying to squeeze him wide. We've, we've squeezed him off the track and wide. We keep the position ahead of at least one Alpine. And now we are struggling to find some pace after the early launches. Yes. Ocon nearly takes us out as we're now we're nearly four wide we are four wide going down into 
the first corner, it's four wide, it's carnage, we're off the track, we're going over, we've lost out to the Sauber, we may lose out to the Haas there of Hulkenberg, I think that is, the car's all over the road, as we head down towards turn four, we try and hold it to the outside of the, of the Haas of Hulkenberg, but Hulkenberg is full, what a bit of racing that was, four wide, Four into one does not go. It was us that had to bail out of it. And what a sprint race this is turning into then. Is now at the end of lap five. This is Magnussen trying to get past us. He's getting closer and closer to the inside of us. He's tapped the back of us. We're going to slam the door. We made contact with him. And now through. Ricardo's gone through the, through the track. Daniel Ricardo's gone through the track. He, he's... He's looking at the sky. Magnuson's out. We are out. We've spun back around. And that's our sprint race ended. Ricardo sent into Narnia. And the sprint race then. The first one of the career mode is done. This is a replay then of what happened. And the game has just absolutely kamikaze. Daniel Ricardo under the track. And that's a very interesting one for the game. It's had a bit of a moment there. This is what it looked like from Kevin Magnussen. He was about to absolutely send Magnussen into next season. And then just goes into, under the track. This is our point of view. We just we really just didn't cut across Magnussen to be fair. Trying to keep him behind. It's our fault. But the game's had a bit of a... A bit of a moment now, that's a very dramatic end to the sprint. So that's been then the sprint race and it's Max Verstappen who won it from Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso. So it's a Spanish 2-3. Lando Norris P4, Oscar Piastri rounds out the top 5. Alex could only get P11 for us. It wasn't the best sprint race in the world. It was never going to be from where we were starting. Down at the back then, three DNFs of course. It was us, Magnussen and Gasly also retired. Ricardo somehow managed to continue. Not really too sure how. But anyway, that's the sprint race. Let's go to qualifying for the real thing. So as we come into now qualifying then, and Esteban Ocon is out of qualifying as we head up towards so is Oscar Piastri what has happened oh no the game's broken the game is broken Piastri is under the track it's the Ricardo situation again and the same thing has happened for Esteban Ocon the game the game's broken as now we head up this is the start of the first lap Magnussen also out as well Lewis Hamilton goes fastest as we head now through first couple of corners the S sections Max is out as well and now this is what happened to Max it's just falling through the track what is going on with this game honestly this weekend has potentially to be the most bizarre and now this is us on our lap we turn into this corner and into the next one as we just get yeeted on under the track and up sailing down into the abyss and then back on it we can continue our lap I don't know what happened during that Magnus and Ricardo crash on us but it's We've broken the game somehow as once again the same lap sent up into the air and now this is this is what happened this is going through there again it happens again that's a replay and once again can't complete a lap of this track what has happened to Brazil it's broken we've been sent into the core of the earth as there's nothing we can do here we've got a penalty for track limits I think track limits is a bit underestimating what's occurring right now because there's Lance the Stroll to the inside of us as we try and complete at least one lap without being heated into Narnia either into the ground or into the air as now once again it's happened again this is frustrating now it's all we've made contact that's given us a penalty 
as well with the contact there's someone else that half the track's red somehow a bit of it's green that you can see there look at Max and Piastri that both down to P17. miles off the track what what is going on here as we try and complete one final lap of the track then we are currently three temps up and we work and we're out of qualifying that's our okay? qualifying that done let's go the to the race for the, for the final time this season welcome to where heroes and history are made it's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner and just one year later Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only drivers championship it's time then for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Fernando Alonso lines up on pole position, with Daniel Ricciardo slotting in alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Hamilton, Albon, Stroll, Russell, Perez, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Magnussen, Ocon, Joe, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Verstappen, Brown, and Yuki Tsunoda. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Here we go then, the formation lap is underway. There are wet conditions here today. Each driver will no doubt be mindful of the wet surface as they prepare to race around the track. as all the cars reform the grid, the drivers will be hoping to get a strong start. They'll want to earn some valuable points from today's race, with final communications being done with their race engineers, ensuring their planned strategies are all in place. So this is it then, the final race of the season. And we're racing for the Grand Prix as this car's already under the track. As it's also raining here. There's cars everywhere, there's someone going through the air. We've gone through the floor of the track. We're flying everywhere, we're back on the track. We can start going again. The safety car is out after not even a corner of this race it's all gone so dramatic already there's a half slowing down trying to get back up to speed an alpine as well both ferraris are at the back it's been a horrible start by ferrari the safety car has been deployed as we all queue up behind the sauber and now this is us now going round try and get to the back of the safety car now we're really having to slow down here as there's Perez Perez has been taken through Narnia through the floor Perez is back on it now this was just a little bit further back behind us but now this is a replay off the start what happened to Charles Leclerc he didn't even move and he's already through the floor of the track. Brazil's got some bit witchcraft this weekend. This is Piastri's start as he gets going. He's got a decent start until he has him and just gets absolutely anchored back. You see Cargo flying through the air now as he gets sent through the air as well. Piastri does that and then drives through a lot of ghosted cars in the meantime as well. This is Daniel Ricciardo's start from starting P2. Well, it's qualifying for him and then he just gets sent. He's already been sent once in this race. 
they've only actually lost one place there somewhere in all of that carnage. This is Larry Strolls. Start, so he's got a good start to be fair. He's going to tip in and then, oh, he's gone through the air and he's back flipping and he's front flipping and he's off the track and he's back on it now. And he has been sent to absolute Narnia there. This game is the most broken thing I've ever played. These glitches, they were funny at first, but now they're just very, very annoying. This is Yuki Sonoda's start. He's everywhere, so he's hovering right in front of him. And then Sonoda has been sent to Narnia as well. He's back flipping, barrel rolling all the way down the pit straight as well, just like Lance Stroll. He's got a lot more ground clearance though than Lance Stroll did. And he gets going again. This is Esteban Ocon's start as he gets going. Gets a good start and then he's through the floor as well. And it's game over once again for him. And then goes back onto the track. About three cars all in the top of that. But now this is Joe's start. Come on, did someone get a good start there? Was everyone's just disappearing around him and then no, no, Joe's Joe's gone through the floor as well. This is Max's second start now. The lights come on. They go out, he's racing, and you see the Ferrari instantly disappears, and now everyone's just glitching around him. There's the, the RB going through the air, and he does actually somehow keep it clean. So, we can skip on now. We can go racing again. The safety car is near enough in as the McLaren there has stopped. And there's still some witchcraft on this weekend. Is that we get yeeted into the air again? We're off the track, we're somewhere around here. As everyone comes flooding through, we drop, there's someone's stopped there, so is Lance Stroll's just stopped as well. So is the Ferrari, we've gone, that uh, is Ocon, he's gone through the floor again. It's, it's just not looking good, is it? This weekend is the most bizarre thing ever. As now this is Hulkenberg, he's minding his own business, driving down the pit lane, he's falling through the floor and had and had a cheap pit stop out of it. I think maybe you can argue that was a bit of a bad thing, I'm not sure. This is Carlos Sainz now, going through the floor and retiring from the race. You see his car has gone. You can see the amount of DNFs now in just three laps as oh someone's just a bit again. In this race. Both our bees are gone. Okay, I think the track's gonna be drying out quite soon. Be careful you don't burn out your tires. This we think this rain should stop sometime as in the next few laps. Matt's going from the lead all the way down to the back. Now though, can we have some actual racing? It's been three very dramatic laps here in Brazil as cars are boxing I think maybe for some dry tyres possibly or damage more likely damage I think as we go through the center S's and now head down towards turn 3 and we're struggling for Keep some grip an the as there's another line, safety car sure now Okay, the safety car is out. Safety car is out. Three corners. Need to up at reduced pace. Keep a close and the safety eye on that car is time. back out. It's the DNF are ticking down. We're currently P5. We've got the floor again. Okay, looks like some of those puddles are clearing. We're still definitely Mark on the right tyre for the time, time being. For the we're the probably not a million miles away from slick conditions. As we've gone through the air again after we've come back on. We're spinning round. If you brought tickets to this Grand Prix, you'd think you'd take it very strong. What is going on here? There's absolutely no grip as well as... We're driving up a low rider as we come into the pits now. Ready to put on some dry tyres. It is at that stage, at five. Why not risk it? Everyone else looks like they're going for it. So we're going to box now. Put on the set off the right, mediums. Everyone else on hard. But let's just see how far we can get the mediums. 
in this race now as we're really struggling with the back end as Lewis Hamilton is out of the race now as we're falling through the floor once again once again whatever happened in that sprint race has completely broken this weekend in Brazil we're off again we barely turned the steering wheel we barely moved as now we can get going again lap 5 as you can see the amount of DNFs now we are starting dead last we're on lap 8 the race is about to restart again George Russell leads the one and only Mercedes left in this as Lando Norris has retired now as well safety car in this lap safety car, safety in car this is lap. in let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature no, remember there's no overtaking until the timing can we get some in position it would until be nice around this race track as now we can get going again as there's someone stopped Someone stopped in the track there, and it was Lance Stroll. As we, we have boxed again for hard. In the meantime, as we hit the back of Bottas, as Bottas goes through the floor, we've gone through the floor. Okay, it's another safety, safety car, car, and it's out. also now a red flag. Or the FIA check where down, the track is not suitable delta. to race on, okay, and that we can glitch through. But we're racing again now. The sun has come out. We've got a good start for once. Lap, but there's someone locked up on straight on there. It's a dramatic start to the race again. We've gained a couple of places. We're up into P4. There's now a battery. Lance Stroll, Stroll's on the inside of us. Stroll's taking us out. It's a virtual, virtual safety, safety car. car. We're spinning around. We're going again. Delta. And now Caution. we're going to have to the pit for another pit stop today. Okay, now it's a full safety car. We've barely had a race in lap here in, in Brazil. We've had 12 laps and about four corners of proper racing. As now Alex in front of us is boxing. He's got damage as well. And it's not, it's not a good weekend, is it, here? in Brazil and now we're having a lovely time Alexander taking forever well to change pits. our front wing okay, there been further incidents on the track, so officials and the announcer already said there was a full safety car, car. I don't know why he's telling us okay, again we but we can finally get going again we are basically the last again is now we are 8 out of 8 left in this race we're now battling Lance Stroll and we're going to the inside of him. Can we go for a lunge on Albon as well? We're going for it down the inside. We get the job done on our teammate as well. We're on soft tyres, everyone else on medium and hard. I think we've gone through that many sets of tyres. I don't think we've actually got any fresh tyres left, but Alex is back to our inside. Try and hold it around the outside. Alex now is so close, we have to back out. We're going to try and swap in the dummy all over the road. But Alex has cut that position from us. And now we've got us stuck on the grass a bit. To the inside we try and defend Lance Stroll behind us. But Stroll has hit us. Stroll has hit us. We've managed to keep it going though in a straight line. As now though all those in front side to pull away. Lance Stroll is on our inside. We're finally getting some racing in this Grand Prix. As now Stroll on the outside of us. He's forcing well wide off the track, he has to back out of it. Because now, we head up towards turn 1, Sergio Perez is fast off the road, and Lance Stroll is through on us. I don't care about the ERS, Mark, shut up, we're fighting. As now, Lance Stroll defended the inside, but we're going to do the other switch back going through the center S's. We try to look to the outside coming out of the center S's. But now he's got a good toe, he's got a bit of battery left to go back down the inside of Lance Stroll and get the job done. Now Lance Stroll though, coming back out of this, there's a yellow flag as we get a warning for, for colliding with him. To the outside we try and defend Lance Stroll is in the contact again, there is contact again. He's into the side of this Lance Stroll. Stroll must have damage, I think we also must have damage 
as we get another one in for Clyde and his Lance Stroll. Round the outside. Stroll's not someone you really want to be fighting around the outside, but Stroll has got us there. Coming out of turn four. But we need to be patient and send it late on the brakes back down the inside of Lance Stroll. Job done on the Canadian. But we just couldn't break away. We had no pace for those in front. And so Lance Stroll's come up the inside of us. Okay, He's hit well, us and our race is done okay? here hit. in Brazil. It's been a dramatic weekend. It ended in another DNF. It's been a roller coaster season then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. Well, a great victory today for the final race of the season, and you take that energy with you through the end of the year, through the winter break, and it's important because your team lives off of that. You want them to deliver you the best possible car for the start of next season's campaign. Aston Martin's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the biggest names in the sport. They're making their way out onto the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. So Fernando Alonso wins a Grand Prix in what's been a very dramatic Grand Prix because basically no one finished and it is Oscar Piastri finishing second and George Russell rounding out the podium. Albon finishes P4. The most broken though weekend I've ever done on this game but you may have noticed that there wasn't many replay cameras in the race and that's because the game eventually crashed and came to its senses so this was the actual results of the Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso still won but it was Max Verstappen P2 and Lando Norris P3. Albon finishes down in 12th so he didn't get points in the end and a lot more cars finished than in the actual thing that we recorded. Only yes DNF. This is then the final drivers championship. Max Verstappen was world champion and he won in the end by 110 points. Lando Norris finishes P2 just ahead of Charles Leclerc by just two single points and we finish P11 and P12 in the drivers. I don't think that's bad at all and then there were just two drivers who never scored a point that being Yuki Tsunoda and Kevin Magnussen. So Red Bull do wrap up the constructors ahead of Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, Aston Martin we are P6 and then Sauber, Alpine, RB and it was Haas finishing stone dead last on countback. But that's been then the final race of the 2024 season if you can call it a race you can see the star here in slow motion everything that went on cars flying everywhere the only thing i can say is that this footage is very old compared to when you're seeing seeing it out so there's been a lot of updates between this being recorded and the state of the game right now i think this is just a one-off i'm hoping it's a one-off i mean get back to a more realistic races next season but i hope you enjoyed this opening season of my career modes we're now fully established in formula one i'll see you in 2025 goodbye